Hey guys, Axel again, and today this is part 3 of our horror game tutorial series. And today we will be focusing on the lighting and our player movement. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. So, first off, lighting. So, since again this environment is like very flat, it will not do justice, but it will help sort of like kind of make your game immersive, I guess. So uh, first, let's just make everything here dark as hell by making like the brightness to 1 and then like setting this clock time to 20 so it has this like purple hue to it. So yeah, it's just right. We want it to be very dark. Next, go into lighting and then add in a sky. Next, add in an atmosphere. So basically, actually let me make it daytime real quick. This will be sort of the fog in our game. We would do, uh, we want this to be kind of thick so that it's uh, harder to see. You know, and as you can see, our game already looks spookier. Next, add in a blur effect and then set this to like four, maybe. And that looks good. So now, as you can see, if we play test with just like three settings, look at this. The game instantly becomes like hella darker so uh yeah that's pretty awesome so next would be our character movement so what we're gonna do is just simply make our player sprint so that you know he can actually run away from the monster so to do that go into starter gui and then add in a screen gui i'm gonna call this uh sprint gui just like this and then inside of Sprint UI, add in a text button. Make sure it's a text button or else it will not work. And also I'm just gonna design this so it looks a bit better since this looks hella lame. Alright, after you're uh, done um, making your button, just insert in, in an empty local script and then paste this script in. So right here you can edit a bunch of stuff. I'm just gonna make the default speed to 10 and then printing speed to like 25 since we don't want it to be too OP and now when we play test um, as you can see uh, if I click this I'm like very fast as hell but if I uh, click it again as you can see I'm just at walking speed so uh, yeah pretty epic and also next tutorial would be adding a stamina system since currently you can just like infinitely sprint which is not good we want to kind of like um not make this too overpowered so uh yeah that's all goodbye